Hi, this is Edie with Virtually in Sync and the Video VA blog. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use and make the most out of your YouTube annotations. Very quickly, YouTube annotations allow you to place an overlay text, links, or hotspots, which can be placed on your video that can provide a level of interaction and engagement with your viewers that you otherwise would not be able to obtain. Now let's go on to how you can actually use and make the most out of your YouTube annotations. Before I get into the step-by-step -step instructions, which I will try to quickly get through, I want to show you where you would go on your YouTube channel in order to get access to your annotations. You can get there one of two ways. You can either go to your upload window or box. There's a drop-down window <clears throat> that says Video Manager or you can go to your Google Plus icon or avatar. There is a icon or a drop down bo box next to that as well and you can get to your video manager that way as well. Once you're on your video manager I want you to pay a close attention to the menu buttons that are on the left side of your screen. You're going to go to channel settings and under channel settings that's where you're going to get all of the information as to whether or not you are even applicable to being able to use um, the annotations the way that they need to be used in this example. First you're going to go to your features page and your features page tells you a couple of things. Most importantly it tells you whether for your account status if you're a partner that's verified and if you are are you in good standings. Then you can go scroll down and see monetization, your uploads, um, whether you have unlimited uploads or not, and most importantly here, whether you can have external annotations. Another key thing that's in another uh, video quick tip that I did was on custom thumbnails. These things are only eligible if you are a partner, a YouTube verified partner. If you are not, then there's a separate video that I will provide a link to that you can get a tutorial on how you can become a verified partner so that you would be able to have access to the annotations that I'm going to explain. Once you've verified that you are indeed a partner in good standings and you do have the ability to add external annotations, you can directly go to a video and click that video and add annotations to that. And you would do that by going to your video manager. You would select the video in question, so I'm just going to select one right here. You have a couple of ways also of getting to your annotations. You can either from your uploads window click the edit drop down button and go directly to annotations or you can actually click on the video itself and that will open up in a window just like this and you'll have the ability to go to annotations by selecting it at the top. So let's in this instance just assume that we want this entire video to have an annotation. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you, um, this is your scrub and this just allows you to go from one point to another on your video. So let's uh, go back to the beginning. We're going to click here to add an annotation. When you get to the drop down button for your add annotation, it gives you an option of five different types of annotations to use. You can use the speech bubble, note, title, spotlight, or label. I prefer spotlight because it is a hot spot. It just hovers and can be any color that you make it. So it can be a bright enough color that you can see or it can be almost transparent where it would not obscure the person who's viewing your videos ability to see what it is that you have on your video. So I choose Spotlight. As you can see, it's a very faint white, but you do have the ability to change the color here. You can make it black or you can make it purple or whatever color that you choose um, to make it. Now let's just assume for a second, let's try and go somewhere where there's actual text. So I'm going to move this. You can move your annotations um, a couple of ways. You can just drag it onto the screen um, and place it where you need to. If you want to extend it throughout the entire video, you can do that. Or you can also come to a start and end 
uh, fields here and type in the time code of where you want it to start and where you want it to end. So again, let's just for the sake of this, I'm going to, I guess, put it over this text. And even though the text is going to change throughout the video, I'm just doing this as an example. So let's say that this is where you want it. Now underneath here is where you have the ability to label your annotation. So that means that when this screen shows up, it will, whatever text you put in here, will automatically be seen. I personally prefer not to. Once you've selected the text that you want, you then click your linked button. Next to that is going to be a drop down menu that's going to allow you to do a number of things. You can link it either to another video that you have on your site, or your channel I should say, to your playlist, to your home page for your channel, to your Google Plus profile page, to your subscribe page, and this is the most important, to your associated website, which you've already gone through and linked to your personal website. Once you select that, you then type in your website address, and it has to be the full URL. And once you're finished, once you see preview link, that means it's live and it's up, so you don't have to really preview it. But if for whatever reason it was not valid, then you would have that error that would come up. So the link will open in a new page once it goes live. When you're finished, then click saved and then you can click publish. After you hit publish, it will then come down with a menu or a drop down or window that allows you to screen your video just so that you can see um, what it would look like. As you can see the window comes there and so if I clicked on it it would automatically take me to my website. So that's how you can add your um, annotation. Okay, in this part of the video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can create URLs that will be linkable from YouTube. What you need to do is get the plugin for WordPress called Redirections. And what Redirections allows you to do is it allows you to take an external site and link it to your website. And this is great um, in the instance for YouTube annotations because with YouTube, you're only allowed to associate YouTube with your website, with one singular website. Once you've added in your plugin for redirections, you get your source um, URL, which essentially is how do you want your URL to look to the outside world. And I want it to look like my web address forward slash and for this instance, I'm going to do uh, Pinterest. Then I need to get my target URL, which is the web page that contains my uh, information. And so that is my Pinterest homepage. So once I've done that, everything else here is set. And I just click Add Redirection. And as you can see, it's been added. So now I can add this to YouTube with just adding my web address forward slash Pinterest or Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn and that particular um, link will go directly to that page as opposed to going to my home page. So here we are back at my YouTube annotation example and we highlighted, I've highlighted this um, area of the video that I want to have as an annotation and I'm going to actually get rid of this so that it's not distracting. So what we're going to do now for this particular one, so just let's say for instance we want this to uh, be sent to Pinterest. We're going to hit link, we're going to go to our drop down menu again, we're going to go to associated website and we're going to type in our web address like we did before. Now this time I'm going to hit forward slash and I'm going to do Pinterest. Now once you preview this, and we'll preview it now so that we know, 
As you can see, it does not go to my web address. It goes directly to my Pinterest board. Well, there you have it. A simple tutorial on how to use and make the most out of your YouTube annotations. To get more results with your online video marketing in order to generate more traffic, build your list, and grow your business, you can check out Real Marketing Insider by clicking on the link below. Real Marketing Insider is your complete video marketing and online marketing training portal, showing you everything from how to make better videos to how to market your business with online video. It has tons of easy to follow tutorials from how to film, light and edit your videos on a budget to how to build an audience and sell more of your products using videos. To learn more, simply click on the link below or visit www.realmarketinginsider.com. Until next time, this has been Edie with Virtually In Sync and the Video VA blog, and I hope to see you soon.